guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i have my very good friend <laughs> imano i'm laughing because i kind of know what you would say <laughs> how are you doing today i'm good i'm good kind of how are you i'm fine too thank you yeah. would you like to introduce yourself to the people yeah you kind of did but maybe like I, you said i mean i know. gave brief introduction <laughs> Emmanuel. yes his name is Emmanuel, but you know to give us more yeah, info I'm, yeah i'm Emmanuel. i live and work in lithuania yeah she knew that i was going to say i'm not his friend <laughs> but yeah wow. i will still take it she's my friend so oh okay um, <laughs> i don't even want to get into the further question because you're gonna tell the people why we are not friends and what happened to the friendship uh, okay well, we should actually say why we are not friends why <laughs> okay tell tell them because why you're not friends friends ask after each other <laughs> but you never did Jesus. like you were away for like one month and then all of a sudden wow. i just say oh hello i'm in uk but wait <laughs> i saw you in church before i left and i told you i was going to the uk really no yeah. Emmanuel, did you? I, that day I spent, like, after church, I didn't even leave. I was like, hey, I need to tell everybody that I was going to be out. I did. Why did I remember this? Exactly. That's what I should be asking so you. So that, that also shows that maybe I'm not really... You're not invested friend. in the friendship. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I mean, See, whichever way. And I feel like... Uh, I'm more like I'm more of a friend to your husband than to you. I mean, it's, because, it's still you know, good, yeah. It's still I, good that you're she, <laughs> better friends with my husband than, than, than yeah, me. Yeah, because he, he does a better job than you. Oh Jesus <laughs> Christ! But we are one, so if he's doing a good job, then okay. then I'm doing okay. a good job. I'll, I'll take that. You are uh -huh. one, yeah. Thank I won't you. dispute that. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay, yeah. Mano. Very nice to have you again on yeah. this channel. I'm looking forward to everything that we're gonna be talking about today. I don't know what we are talking about i said give me talking points okay. let me know what we're talking about but you didn't but it's okay well, it it's, it's okay it's okay what you're talking about is definitely something that will help someone watching this video or all the people that will be watching this video so just be yourself and you don't have to worry about what we're talking do about too much to, do i need to know the demography of people watching jesus christ <laughs> Oh, we can we can do this we can do this yeah, yeah. Yes, yes okay thank you yeah. <laughs> okay maybe we can start with you were discussing something right now just before we started filming this video about accents like having uh, a nigerian accent or having like a british accent mm -hmm. do you feel that you have to uh you know have a certain accent when you go somewhere to speak to people to meet people N no i don't think so okay. i feel like uh like uh, I mean, there are different kind of accents, obviously. Yeah. And I feel like uh, wherever we are, we need to be ourselves. We mm -hmm. don't ever need to change our accent for anyone. Yeah. But sometimes, you know, like people do it just to make other people feel comfortable. Uh -huh. But uh, really, we shouldn't be doing that. We should, people should learn to be comfortable around other people. Mm -hmm. The more we travel, the more we go places, the more we learn, mm -hmm. the more we listen to other people the more we uh, we keep growing in the way we listen yeah. and understand people's accents. So just some people are also naturally good with accents. You do it to make them feel comfortable, I wouldn't judge you. Mm -hmm. But because, I mean, I feel like we need to be more like graceful towards uh, one another. Yeah. Like in the world, like so many things that we could we could fight about or mm -hmm. criticize. Like it shouldn't be accents. I think we should just be more graceful and try to understand people's accents i mean don't live in your cocoon basically yeah. just learn learn other people's accents and yeah learn to listen basically if you listen you'll hear what people are saying I, yes <laughs> if you learn to listen you mm -hmm. will hear what people are saying yeah. absolutely I think that, in fact, that's just it. If you learn to listen, you will hear what people are saying. Like, if you go somewhere, you should be yourself. Yeah, yeah. How you cannot you make everybody comfortable. Okay, if you go to India, you have to have an accent. You go to America, you have to have, mm -hmm. a, have an accent. Mm -hmm. So I think you should just be yourself. And then we can give grace, listen to the person that is speaking to you. It doesn't matter where they're from. And then mm -hmm. you can actually hear that. I love that's, that. That's okay. True. All right. So let's get into some, some uh, icebreaker questions. I mean, okay. we, we went into deep talk already, but some icebreaker questions okay. for you. Okay, yes. Do we need questions to break the ice? We can just get an armor <laughs> and then we can break. Oh the my eye. God, Emmanuel, jeez. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay, okay. So you said that you work in Lithuania. My question is do you prefer working from home or working from the office? Work from home. Work from home. <laughs> yeah, I work from home all the time. Why? Why though? Because we were all working at the, in the office and then COVID happened and we had Yeah, to... when we were working at the office, yeah. I just had to be in the office at a certain time and i mean the work life balance is great mm. 
and then like i feel like uh the commit time also like it's part of the things that uh, like take time take, take my time mm -hmm. in the day you know when you're going with the bus mm -hmm. and when you're going with like taxi and when there's traffic as and well and when there's traffic in the morning so i i but i think that uh like that's on its own it's it's something like yeah. it's part of my daily life which i could also invest in maybe my sleep or something mm. yeah <laughs> okay because, yeah. invest in your sleep <laughs> yeah right <laughs> okay and then uh yeah but since the pandemic i've been working from home majorly mm. sometimes i go to the office so and um i think i kind of enjoy it although like it's almost like i don't have my lunch break mm. because I just walk mm. and sometimes this even is when you're working from home when i'm working okay. from home sometimes even I'm, when i'm grabbing something to eat i'm still, still here working working in front of my computer you know? yeah but then like i feel like this maybe this year i will try to like make it uh, a duty to go to the office like maybe once in a month or once, once in, in a month yeah okay yeah, because <laughs> i was I, thinking i was gonna say once a week <laughs> i basically work remotely oh basically. okay yeah. okay so work from home okay the second one is winter or summer Oh, obviously. Which one? Summer. Wait, what is obviously? Summer. <laughs> Summer is Why? best. Yeah, like in Lithuania, it's even like a different ball game. Like in winter, everybody is cold. Yeah. Like literally cold. Not okay. the continents is okay. cold. Like you, you, you hardly see people smile. smile. Uh, but during you know? some, everybody's like, "Hi, yeah. how everybody's are you?" Like, Hi. Okay. Even like everybody is just like the sun shines and their face mm -hmm. literally lit up. Okay. So I feel like I love summer more because of that. Okay. I think me too. I'm liking summer now too. Mm. I don't know. I used to love winter, but I don't know what happened 2022. I'm just like, winter, I'm done. Good that we have, like, we kind of have, like, yeah, the seasons, right? Season. Yeah, yeah. So season you appreciate the summer more yeah, when good. it comes. Yeah, but still, mm. then we will still complain about the heat. But that was a story yeah, for that's, another that's, day. That's why. <laughs> okay. So tell mm. me, adulthood or childhood? Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I will. Adulthood, basically. Really? Yeah, right. I mean, I feel like I love it when I was a child, but you can't always be a child. Mm -hmm. I think I was even thinking about this recently. Like, I love my childhood, but I can't just like keep living as a child. We have to grow up one day. Okay. I mm. mean, even though the people say that adulthood is a scam, but still you prefer it. Where? Because you have so many responsibilities. That's true. A lot of that's true nobody's giving you stuff anymore that's you have true. to figure out your life well, I, I i have heard that word severally but i don't really know what it means that uh, adults will this come mm. but i feel like uh as an adult you get to like become responsible you get to build a lot of things you mm. know, get to like get to your hands dirty like doing things trying things out and failing and succeeding mm. so i think it's also like part of the journey of life it's also like the adventure basically it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a good thing okay yeah. How would you describe your childhood? Like childhood? Yeah. How would I describe it? Yeah. I was very playful, obviously. And uh, my childhood is, I would say it was fun because like, I get to like meet a lot of people, do stops, mm. school, church. I was a church boy, so. <laughs> you still are. Am I? No, yeah, I'm just you're a, not. I'm okay. just a child of God. Okay, I'm not a church boy. What's the difference? I think I think <coughs> there's a big difference. Like there's a difference in going to church for going sake and okay. uh, like having a relationship and you know that okay, it's important to fellowship with other believers and then you go. So the understanding is the difference. Yeah, yeah the understanding is different. Mm. So like it, it was fun. Like going, I love like having people around and people are always almost around me mm. and i think like i think i was just the good boy and then you know when you're good you're the good boy people love you like big aunties big uncles uh, okay. everybody's like oh Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, it was it was a fun time the other day i was discussing with my mom i wanted to understand like what kind of child i was when i was growing up and just to see if i'm still that kind of person if mm -hmm. i have any uh connection so it's good that you actually remember that you're a playful child when you were small yeah, do you see the personality that you had as a child do you see the connection now that you're an adult and you're grown and you know you're living your life and figuring things out well i think at some point i i, I became more serious okay so like i could be very serious maybe you don't know this serious serious like, in what way like 
I, I'm just like serious minded. I'm just like laser focused. Is and it when you're working? When I'm working or when uh, I'm trying to achieve something. Okay, okay. I, I think maybe there was a turning point at that point when it comes to playfulness, but I think some of the values that I picked mm. as a as a child, some of them I see like add on to them, up to today. What are some of the values you still uh, hold? Like, you know, the values of uh, loving God, mm. you know, the values of um, honesty. Mm, okay. You know, I definitely like being agree being that. being fair to everybody. Like mm. even when you are like you are going to be at a disadvantage. Mm. Those are the kind of values like that I grew up with. Like I remember that growing up, you dare not fight outside even when you're right. Wow. So and I I I remember that maybe in my as a child, I only fought maybe once or twice. I can remember. Ah. Yeah. Like and then. When you ever, if my parents ever hear that I fought outside, they will beat you. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> now they don't beat children anymore, I but mean, then. Now, now maybe they, don't do, they yeah. don't do that anymore. Yeah. Yeah, which is also like. Mm -hmm. A yeah, topic for another it's day. A, it's a topic, <laughs> but I mean, I don't, I don't mean that like oh, we should beat children or something. Mm. But I feel like, like there should still be like a measure of discipline or something. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, so, and I think that kind of like, those kind of values are what I think I, I still have up to do. Mm. So we've we've had conversations like literally in two minutes or a few minutes that we've had, and you've talked about God, the Holy Spirit, like in almost every every conversation. Yeah, mm -hmm. what is your relationship with God like? Yeah, I think I I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. Maybe I shouldn't say I think, but it's a way of maybe. How humble. did you find God though? I found God in like, um, was I looking for God? I mean, I grew up in church basically. Mm -hmm. I, I was able to find God mm -hmm. by the testimony of our like elder brothers and, ah. and yeah, it was just a conversation and I was like, yeah, I think I want this experience too. They didn't even know anything happened to me that night. I was just like back to my, my, my dining table, like in at home. Yeah. And I was like, Jesus, yeah, this is the moment. Really? And that was it. So you had a conversation with your brother. He told you about God. No. So my brothers were talking. They were not they even were talking to they you. Were not, we were, it was just a conversation. I wow. was just listening. They were sharing testimonies and mm -hmm. all, like how being with Jesus, how they had to encounter Jesus, and what mm. has changed, what have, what have, what they have been able to, like, uh, move yeah. beyond and all, like, you know, those experiences. I was like, yeah, I want that too. Oh. That's and interesting. That's how you you give your life to Christ. Mm -hmm. What had been your experience since you met uh, God? Like, um, like there are so many things. Like we like when you when you give your life to Jesus, you yeah. basically start learning. You know, one of the things I did was to make sure that like I stop like kind of maintain a constant fellowship. Mm. And uh, I can remember like there was time like I said I don't I won't eat a meal my breakfast without like maybe reading my Bible and praying. You know, and that kind of helped me grow, mm. helped me learn some things. And um, I could remember that, like, I mean, so, so many things that uh, I've been able to, like, to do. Yeah. That sometimes I look at it and I'm like, oh, did I actually do that? Uh, so I feel like it was just God's grace helping, helping me through. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and I, I think I'm still learning as well. Yeah, I faith, mean. The, the, the whole idea of faith mm. is deep and the more you go. They deeper you, you know, you know, like you don't have to be perfect mm. to, to realize that you're having a constant fel fellowship with him. No, it doesn't have to be perfect. But the art that just long for God, mm. the art that pants after God, you know, like, I mean, David, for example, is not perfect. Yeah. But you can see, we can all see that, like, this is a man that just loved God mm -hmm. and he quickly goes back to God even when he has made mistakes and all. Yeah, so he just continued pursuing and yeah, we continue pursuing. That's, exactly. that's the only way. Exactly. Okay. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. How did you come to Lithuania? How? <laughs> I took a flight from Nigeria <laughs> and then I found myself here. Okay. I know that's the route, but seriously, how did you move to Lithuania? So what year did you move to Lithuania? I moved to Lithuania uh, 2019. Okay. Yeah, September. Okay. There's this program called Digital Explorer. Yeah. So they were like getting uh, tech talent from Nigeria to Lithuania yeah. like, for like a one year program. 
and then um, yeah thanks to uh, the Africo guys because you know they they were running the program mm -hmm. together with some uh, um, uh, company in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Are so they still they doing there. the program now? Not and not currently. I okay. think they don't have funding because they were supported by EU. Yeah. They, there was another batch after ours, but yeah. But right now, I don't think they have any program running. Okay. And um, yeah, so they, I just saw the beginning of the year. I just saw the ad. I think my cousin just shared <laughs> the link with me, and I was like, oh, Lithuania. I remember I read about Lithuania when I was reading. Like that was a long time ago, maybe like 20, 2008. I was reading about what? USSR. Okay. And I knew that okay, Lithuania was one of the guys that pulled out. Mm. That was when that was the only time I could remember reading about Lithuania. And then Lithuania, what's Lithuania? Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, yeah, nothing. Like I mean, I wanted to change my job then. I was like, yeah, let me just put in and I put in mm -hmm. we had the selection process, boot camp and all. And then some of us were shortlisted and yeah, my and then you came to Lithuania in 2019. Before you came to, before you even got this opportunity, where you did you ever think that you wanted to leave Nigeria? Not really. Like okay, okay maybe I wanted to like go for my masters. Okay. But you know, when you see like if you don't get scholarship and you see like uh, the the tuition for some countries, you're kind of like, nah, mm. no way. My dad is not a politician, so I can't. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I can't afford that. Yeah. So. So that's that's why you no, know, that I didn't I didn't actually think I was going to live in Nigeria that year. Mm, and okay. the opportunity just came, and I'm glad that it like it came that way because I actually had mixed feeling about coming and all mm -hmm. because I was like, oh no, the pay is low. I could get a remote job from Nigeria, and it will probably pay mm -hmm. way better. But yeah, I think it's it just came. It's a, it's a good thing I came. So you're happy like, with your decision yeah, yeah, that like, you came? One year down the line. It was it was it was amazing. Really? Yeah. What what's been your favorite thing about living in Lithuania for those uh now it's four years, right? Yeah, 2019, it's like 20, 2023. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's been your favorite thing? My favorite thing? Hmm, really? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Should I say by church family? <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, friends, obviously. Like of activities like game night or or like go play football, you know. Yeah. Like things like that, the physical activities, mm -hmm. basically, or go shopping, go sightseeing. Mm -hmm. I love doing those. Yeah. And mm. what's been your least favorite thing? Least? Mm -hmm. Something that you don't enjoy. I mean, it's so just much. far away from my family, so mm. maybe that's that's like you can't just run home. You can just say, "Okay, mommy, I'm mm -hmm. coming," you know, or "Daddy, I'm coming," you know, <laughs> so that I won't be biased. Uh, wow, a, you've good. already said what we are gonna call first. <laughs> Mommy, I'm coming. You already said yeah, it. Yeah, but like maybe it's because it's it's just far away from from home. From home, that's that's just the that's the only. Thing. How how often do you go back to to Nigeria to? I've only see? been once. I wish I could go this this February. But Why this February? I mean, there's election. <sighs> election. But, you know, I can't. I, I don't. I don't think I I, have, I want to spend that much. Uh. The reason why I didn't go back to Nigeria. Was because of the like the state of things. Like yeah. the, the program that brought me here was supposed to be one year, and then I got opportunity to stay back. But I was like, oh, why do I want to go back? Mm. Not because there are no opportunities, but like when you see the direction of things, you know that like the economy is going to be suffering and mm. so many things about insecurity and all. And you're like, do you want to go back and keep running the rat race and all? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, maybe it's better to just stay. Okay. How important is this election that we have in Nigeria? Because you just mentioned that the reason why you stay, stayed back in Lithuania wasn't because you didn't want to go back to Nigeria, but no. just the circumstances of the country. No, maybe, the things. maybe that's not the only reason as well. Because, okay. like, I mean, obviously there are better opportunities here. Yeah, yeah but that's what I'm saying. Like, those mm -hmm. circumstances. Economic wise, uh -huh. better, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, obviously, like, for example, like this cold winter. You wouldn't things are, like, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I would just like go, go back home. Yeah. 
it's best time to travel mm -hmm. actually. but but w like how important is it because somebody's listening to you now thinking hey you that you're in lithuania yeah oh. they're telling me to to focus on the on the election but you, you did not want to come back or you did not want to pay <coughs> how, yeah. what would you tell somebody like that so wait wait uh for i mean i wouldn't judge anybody that wants to like god i wouldn't bring anybody jack marine yeah. in fact <laughs> although i'm even scared right but I'm not in a position to tell people not to jack right because mm -hmm. I left. I was out. <laughs> I was out before mm -hmm. the whole thing started, and you can't be can't be telling people don't come when you are there. there. Yeah, you know. Even if you tell them that it's tough, yeah, they will tell you that. Yeah, that toughness. We want to let's, experience, let's experience it together. together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's do it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if there is opportunity for you to leave. Mm -hmm. Leave legally. Don't don't try to cut corners and just leave. Like school, work. Yeah, just mm -hmm. do it if you have the opportunity. But if you don't have that opportunity and you're in Nigeria, just invest into your country. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Even while I brought, I'm doing it in my own little way as well. Like, mm -hmm. you know, encouraging people to vote, sp sponsoring, like, people. Yeah. I have, a, I, 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 I even had to support my, my candidates mm. with funds. But, like, I mean, it's like maybe it's like a tiny drop out of like the other. Yeah. Even if but it, it, is, it makes even a if difference. It, even right? if it's 5K. How did you do that? How did you find where to support? I mean, like, I don't know all the candidates, yeah. but I know that some I mean, of them put up account numbers. And, ah. Yeah, I know, like, I know somebody that did, and the person that I'm supposed to did put out account number, and mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, even if it's a token, yeah, I'm going to send. And even the training was not like this. Like, I was talking to colleagues, and they like, some 20 years ago, massive corruption, corruption police were, you know, things like that. Mm. Like, they were like, like, there are some places you could not walk that they're going to collect your phone. Wow. And now... And look, they've changed the You can walk almost everywhere safe. So, because people decided to say enough is enough. And yeah. they became part of the process. Because like the problem is that like less than 20% of Nigerians have been electing our leaders. Many people even have the PVC, but, but they, they don't come But they never went there to vote. To vote so. Yeah. So it's this... this, yeah. this uh, and I'm happy. I mean, when I saw the statistics of... <clears throat> how many Nigerians got their PVC this this year is mm. it's definitely like I think it's, it's impressive. An, even if like that's that number is enough to change. Yes, nice, yes. Yeah. So if you have your PVC, yeah. please don't stay at home on the election day. If you have your friends that say already saying ah nah, this vote will not even count, that's the only thing you can do right now. You can yeah. only control what you can. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that one first, and then. I know it sounds a bit uh, shady that we are saying this from abroad, but seriously, yeah, right. I think <laughs> you that guys you, are dear. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah talking, but seriously, I feel that like, like, what's something that you're saying? If Nigeria mm. is better, mm -hmm. like and you tell me, to, there's a lot me. of jet buying going mm -hmm. on. Jet buying basically means leaving from Nigeria to other countries. Mm -hmm. With the jet buy situation happening now. If Nigeria gets better, do you feel that people are going to... Not everybody, but that Obviously a good not. number of people will yeah. fly return to Obviously Nigeria. Obviously not everybody. But, you know, that will also give people that are not even in Nigeria the confidence to invest back in Nigeria. Yeah. You, know? <sighs> you know, so many, like, so many, like, uh, positive things that can come out of Nigeria being good. Yeah. The fact that your home is good mm -hmm. even give you, like, a lot of respect outside Nigeria. <sighs> like... The way you'll they be respected because they it. know that it's not it's not because you are just in a mm. you know you, it's, a, it's not a refugee crisis mm. kind of thing that everybody's just trying to scramble their way out and yeah. all. So you you be treated with respect and yeah. you know, I think one of the candidates was even saying that <laughs> you'll be proud to undo your your green your green passport. Do you feel so. like you've been disrespected because you're Nigerian in Lithuania? Maybe Lithuania, when you travel or when you're somewhere, no. have you experienced any of that? No, no, actually. I've seen, I, I, I've seen something happen because the person is black. Mm -hmm. But okay, maybe it, it happened to me, but I didn't take it personal as well. Like mm -hmm. I just, like you know, when you, when like there yeah, are some white people gather and they, the security man had to come mm -hmm. personally to ask you where's your passport, where's your visa, where's your you know. When yeah. whereas you gone through the normal process and they come back again and say where is this and i'm like okay this is this mm -hmm. is it this is give him everything and i collected it back and i'm like yeah oh, you can like i just don't want to put things like that to heart mm -hmm. so yeah. guys please if you're in nigeria oh my god i don't even, i don't even know my heart is in nigeria please 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 make sure that you vote have yeah. your friends go vote if you are together and they're discussing discuss the election with them like bring it up 
don't only talk about other things like bring up this election and the mm. importance for them to go out on that day and vote and please go out mm. and vote if we can make a change in 2023 oh my mm. god and, and thank you for saying this actually i i think that also people that are not in nigeria mm. we owe it owe it to ourselves to be part of the process mm. like we have spheres of influence yeah you know we could also like talk to people about you don't have necessarily have to in fact, you can even go ahead and tell them what to vote, but based on like what you think yeah. is, you can commit, they make have a conversation. Having that conversation because conversation basically help people rethink their stance. Mm. So, like even when you have that conversation, you don't have to say, "Ah, this is the person that mm -hmm. will be." Just have that conversation. Ask the question. You know, yeah, somebody might even be popular, but people are just supporting him because it's popular, mm. not because yeah. they believe in what is. In what he was coming to do, basically, mm -hmm. I think the vice president was saying it, that if you vote somebody that you know in your conscience that cannot deliver, mm -hmm. then you are doing a disservice to oh. to your country. So you talked about intellectual uh, progression of mm -hmm. Nigeria. I'm not talking about Nigeria. Can move on to that. We've already encouraged all of you to vote. What did you study in university? Oh, I did physics. Okay, you studied physics for your bachelor's. Mm -hmm. okay. You work now as a a software engineer a senior software engineer let's mm -hmm. put it that way yeah. <laughs> let's mm -hmm. put it that way yeah. mm -hmm. wait how did you transition from physics to it i don't think it's totally far apart okay. early uh, earliest uh, computer scientists were mathematicians and physicists True. So. and um yeah i think uh i just started back in school as well like i just thought that i needed to like have the computer skills like learn some programming languages mm. and so that was what took me there so i feel like it was more like um i i i mean you know <laughs> I mean, it was something i was convinced that you wanted to that do. i wanted to do so i was just like yeah i would do it i would do this and started doing it mm -hmm. and then and then i added some more trainings and then got an internship or like a a, an opportunity mm -hmm. and then from there because i mean thank god for people that took a bet on us as well you know like sure. some people just say ah, okay yeah uh we're giving you a chance even though you don't know anything mm. <laughs> you know and then you're like yeah yeah but that's come, what the internship is for right yeah, that's, that's what, what the internship is for that's what it's for so i'm like yeah just what is the difference because you, you mm. worked in nigeria mm -hmm. right what is the main what is the main difference you see working in nigeria and working in Lithuania. Mm. There are a lot of differences, obviously. Mm -hmm. Back then, like I was opportunity to work in good places as well in mm. Nigeria. So they, we have like good processes or even aspiring to uh, maintain those, uh, we call it world class standard. Mm. You know, the only major thing I just say that is like difference to me yeah. is the work life balance. But maybe for someone growing in Nigeria, you think that uh, grinding is, is a good thing. Mm. You know, put so, in all the hours you can. Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like if you put in those hours for personal studies, it's better mm. than maybe like doing the job. And then when maybe when um, bosses want you to do things, they need to respect your time and mm. maybe where you need to be compensated for overtime, yeah. you should get it. So I think that's the only like different the work life balance in Nigeria is not as good as mm -hmm. work life balance here. Yeah. So. But you also studied in Nigeria. Yeah. And you are studying in Lithuania. Am I studying? Yes <laughs> I am. <laughs> Did you forget you're doing your master's in Manu? <laughs> no, like I think I've been a bad student, so that's why <laughs> what, what what is that like So there's a primary um language in Lithuania is Lithuanian. Mm. So like they kind of go out of their way to speak English to you. So, and then like, because you don't grow up here, you didn't basically meet people. And then I started studying when there was pandemic. So mm. we're doing remote study. So I don't really have the classroom experience and, and stuff. Lecturers are kind of like uh, nice and like, they are more friendly than Nigerian lecturers. Like, <laughs> in Nigeria, it's like, whoa, it's the relationship between student and lecturer is not, is not cordial mm. in Nigeria. Like, I mean, I mean, we from have seniority, hierarchical yeah, yeah. level. From my own perspective, I think, yeah. I think that's actually a barrier. Mm -hmm. But in Lithuania, like, even, like, they could come, 
to your level at any time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, things might have changed. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But the saying in my my tribe, they say like um, the Ipatula town was was founded because. Um, the elders are wise and the younger younger ones are wise. Mm. So that's how they found the place. And mm. that's like they see that place as the origin of the whole race. So, so is it still we should... existing now? This this yeah, place? Yeah, yeah. Ileife. Ileife. Oh, yeah. So Ileife. Yeah. <laughs> so so like, Ileife means uh, the wise, the no, old. Okay. It doesn't mean. It's just that. The, the they just place. say that it is because the elders are wise and the younger ones are wise. That's why. This they found it. Place. Place. I think I'm wise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the young people are wise. Seriously, I, I think the the generation that we are building. I mean, yeah, our I think, generation. I think. Yeah, yeah, I think. I think even even the young ones coming behind us are even wiser. Yeah, yeah. Wiser, but I feel like uh, we, we just all have need to, to come together. Come together, then like learn from the elders. And mm -hmm. What I'm finding now. I see how much in touch you are with Nigeria and yeah. I think it's because you left home when you've had already experienced things because for example some people that left very early <laughs> talking about myself that left very early in Nigeria even though I love Nigeria and I talk about Nigeria and I want the best for Nigeria but I cannot relate to so many things to some things that are happening so and when I hear you say those things about Nigeria it actually makes me happy and I feel now not that any uh, living younger is better or living older is better, but if you want to stay in touch uh, with that, I think it's actually good to live when you've experienced certain things in Nigeria. Yeah, but if you want to stay in touch and, and have investment and, and do I think stuff. it does if things are good, right? That's yeah. why, basically, maybe that's why I'm even invested in yeah. seeing something good come yeah. out of Nigeria, you know. Like, something happened in, towards the end of 2022 that's like um, the runner what's ah, her name to, was it to, to toby to uh -huh. yeah toby amazon like literally everybody felt proud to be a nigerian yeah like, everybody was, it was like, a moment it was like, a moment yay. like it was like god was just like oh take a break take a break <laughs> Have some water, guys. Drink water yeah. and rest. Yeah. So, like everybody felt like, yeah, yeah, we are Nigerians. Like we feel like we we were making a statement to the world, and everybody, the patriotic side of everybody was as if all the whole yeah. Nigerian won gold. That, yeah, that that's true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like that's a good feeling. Mm. That's a good feeling. Do you feel a proud Nigerian? I think I'm a proud Nigerian, mm. regardless of what is what is happening. happening. Me yeah. too. But yeah. I think I am. I think. Niger forever. <laughs> Niger, no, they carry last. No, they carry last. <laughs> okay. I think I am actually. Yeah. Okay, Bano. So you work in Lithuania as a software, uh, sorry, senior software engineer. In Lithuania, yeah. what is the average salary for <laughs> software engineers? I think it's a decent pay for Lithuania. Okay. It might not be like high compared to like other, other European, European countries. countries, but but, it's, 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 it's but a, why are you still here? Good. Because Why? you have more opportunities, right? Yeah, to go right. to other mm -hmm. European countries or go to other yeah, places. You know, you know, sometimes too, you have to like move at the right time. Very you know, okay. If you want to move. What is the right time? I mean, like, there's timing for everything. I mean, you don't want to move to a place. For example, like, you, we heard of some layoff mm. recently. Oh, you know, yeah. Some people, Everywhere. Maybe some people just move to those companies as well and they end up getting laid off, you know. Mm. A friend that literally was about to like join a new company in another country mm. and then he just lost his peace and he was like no i'm not doing this and then he just found out like a week or two later that wow. they are laying off stuff mm -hmm. so just so you just if you want to move, if i want to move mm. i just want it to be at the, at the right, right time, time and to the right place as well yeah. what do you think is causing this layoff is it the covid that happened what, what happened like to be honest, I don't know because mm. I didn't really study what is happening going on. going on in the market. But I mean, if I say anything, it should just be my theory, mm. not something I can substantiate. But like, I mean, there are made all these several reasons for, for mm -hmm. doing that. Like, it could be like a selfish <laughs> uh, management, you know, oh. like they just want to maximize profit. It could be that maybe. Now, I'm not saying that's what Yeah, yeah obviously. It could be like maybe they've overhired as well, you know, mm, during the pandemic, pandemic period. Like so many workload, people are just like hiring people. And mm -hmm. It could be that. Yeah, but I don't know. I can't say for, for, for sure, sure this is what it is.
Yeah. So I really don't study. I've not studied what is going on mm-hmm. in those fields. Tech people, people, yeah. tech people are known for <laughs> jumping from one company to the other. Like in back in the day, like you see people that worked for a company for twenty years. Yeah, right. Like now, I still see, actually. yeah, I still yeah, but see. but it's not a it's not the so generation. I think, I think it's it's also like a generational thing. Mm. You know, like I I've heard stories about like I have heard conversation around the Gen Zs and uh, Generation Y or yeah. the Millennials. You know, we have different like trends these days. Like, the company is lawyer. Obviously, mm. this uh, the the employees will be lawyer. Mm. I mean, I, I have seen complaints where people stay for like 15, 20 years, and I'm like, wow, wow. <laughs> that's actually <laughs> impressive. Know? And as long as like they are getting challenges mm. and they are growing in their spheres, they don't mind. They just they just, just stay keep there. staying and. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Going with the same mindset that mm-hmm. we are jumping from one job to the next, do you think that that affects right now the relationships and the love life that we have? That people are like, ah, if this is not working, I'm, I'm going to go. <laughs> like, it's probably a trend mm. because that uh, maybe people want when it's not working, they want to get out. Mm. But the truth is that, like, the, this thing also have different stages. There's the, uh, the, Real, uh, the dating relationship stage. Yeah. So like I don't know. Some people call it courtship. Some people call it dating. I don't mm-hmm. know. Yeah. Like whichever you would choose to call it. There's that stage. Then there's the marriage stage. Yeah. You know, my I I I, I think that the dating relationship stage is a stage whereby you check and say, oh, can we work together? And like, if you check, you, if the person takes all the boxes, mm-hmm. like I mean, the people now have different boxes, which is another ball game. Mm-hmm. You know, there's <laughs> another different thing. Like people, people have like different imagination, mm-hmm. different things that they think they need. Maybe they don't even need it. You know, but like if the person meet all your standard, you should have a standard mm-hmm. basically. But if the person meet all your standard, then you can go into marriage. Yeah. But I feel like marriage should be something you, you enter as being you are sure of what you're doing they didn't like you are you are very like uh what's the word uh you're very uh, aware you are you are aware not uh, no i mean maybe you might not even be hundred percent but you are aware that okay this is what i'm doing and you you have look at it that okay with all these risks with all these risks but yet i will still do it mm. you know and then it's something you should enter without like thinking of having a plan, an exit plan, basically. Mm. <laughs> I have one question regarding marriage and relationship for you. Okay. Would you like to get married one day? Obviously, yeah. Do you have, do, do, what's your biggest challenge now? Are you married? No, I'm not. And I'm not handicapped. <laughs> Because, I'm not handicapped. Yeah, because I don't know what to be by what's my biggest challenge. I don't have a challenge. <laughs> I'm basically living no. my life. Okay, okay. <laughs> like with with dating. Are you dating? What is the dating game? The, not dating game. I don't want to call it game. What is the dating life like now? I don't know if uh I'm qualified to to speak. Yeah, you're yeah, in the that. dating dating life. Well, right, because I'm not actually dating. Okay. You know, I'm not actually dating. You're like, single? I'm single, but not not alone. Yeah. <laughs> I was already giving them sign to slide into your DM. You say you're not yeah, alone. I'm Do you have alone. someone in your life? Yes, I have people in my life. <laughs> but, <laughs> Imagine. Before people say I'm please, a scam. Please clarify. Before people say I'm a scam, right? But I, I feel like, um, yeah, I, I mean, obviously I'm seeing someone, but okay. uh, like it's not like... You're still getting to know yeah, each other. getting to know the person okay. I know. <laughs> well, I'm wishing you the best in your relationship. And oh, Wambe. I am ready for some more Wambe this oh, wow. year. I don't Jesus. know if it's going to be this year, but we are still literally in January, so anything can happen. But at the rest of the year, obviously, we are not pushing you to go and get married, right? Yeah. But we are saying if it happens, we are happy to do celebration. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sisters of the... Uh, friends of the groom. Right? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Emmanuel. Mm-hmm. What would you like to tell someone watching this video now thinking, ah, I don't know how to get into IT field. I want to get into IT because even though with the layoffs, they are still the yeah, highly same, hired yeah, the people. Job. In even the, though there's chat, chat GPT, there will still be job for software engineers. Right, right. Yeah. What would you tell someone that is thinking, ah, should I go into IT? Should I, should I not? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, obviously it's not 
we can all do the same thing. Mm -hmm, definitely. But if you like, if you feel like you're interested in IT uh, careers, just look at uh, areas like they have a broad spectrum of mm -hmm. different career things you can do in IT, and then like look at what you you think can re really resonate with you, and then start building a skill in it. There are so many resources online. You just need to make use of it. So if you want to do anything, data science, project management or product management, software engineering, back in front end, go for it. Mm -hmm. we, need, we need people for different things. Yeah. And just look for one area that you feel like it's you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be IT, but you feel like you want IT, yeah. yeah. Just go for it. Be ready to put in the sacrifice, put in the late night. Don't have the a job offer. Yeah. Try to do something. Show that you can do this. Don't show somebody that like don't wait for job offer. Just show. Show that you have this capacity. And mm -hmm. then when in your next interview you can say, okay, I've done this, I've done that, I've done this. And then they were like, Oh, you did this and you don't have a job offer. You did this on your own, you study on it. We'll give you a chance. And then you come in and then you learn. From there you can start growing. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Imana. Yep. It's been a pleasure. I don't know how our, our conversation became so serious. <laughs> And then, <laughs> and then I, I'm all in my serious mood. I don't know what happened. Oh my days! Yeah. Are you? Do you feel like, like you're in a serious mood now? Even now? I think I was in a, but right now, no, no. Okay. So before <laughs> but, we sign out uh, uh, from this video today, mm -hmm. what would you tell someone just coming to Lithuania now? Just say that coming to Lithuania, like, just uh, be open, mm. basically. Like, it's not, it's all, not always like. Uh, the uh, best Im impression at first but i mean i'm not saying the training is bad like it depends on what you're expecting mm -hmm. so if you have your expectation too high and you come and it's really so fully. Uh, yeah but i think that like just trust the process do what you need to do like if you study if it's work just do it and uh, uh just see how it goes give it time mm -hmm. like don't i mean don't quickly compare basically give it time like, mm -hmm give it time and uh it's important to also like find your people find build your community basically mm. i'm not saying find if you are like coming from nigeria for example i'm not saying find nigerians mm. but i'm basically saying like build your own community mm -hmm. if you're new here it's it's good that you have a community enough word is my life in lithuania has been amazing i think okay yeah i think that's the word that came to mind that's it it's that's good it. yeah it's i think i like it Okay. Yeah. I wish looking up, looking forward to better days as well. To be, to better what? Better days. To better days. Yeah, okay, exactly. looking forward to better days. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming to my channel. Thank you for today. having me, even did though you tricked me into coming. <laughs> <laughs> did you Did you have fun uh, with with this session? I, mean, I felt like we've never been this serious. Like, although we used to talk, but not yeah. not. Ah, you put camera in my face like this. Ah. <laughs> 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 you feel, like you were saying your nigerian ness had to come out did you feel like your nigerian ness came out i don't know i think i'm just myself yeah, just yourself. yeah okay. and i'm nigerian so i'm yeah. proud to be i'm proud anytime. to be nigerian too yeah. all right thank you so much so guys make sure you like comment and subscribe yeah, to guys, this channel help, help our ministry <laughs> <laughs> yes help our ministry indeed thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode have a good day yeah. bye, bye. <laughs> oh jesus <laughs>